If it was easy to buy a Fastnet race winner, everyone would be doing it. But occasionally there are designs that arrive on the scene that are simply destined to do well. The JND39 Zanabu is one of those. Overall winner of the 2017 Rolex Fastnet race under her original name, Lanael, two years later she was second in class and ninth overall. In 2023, she finished 10th in IRC1 in a brutal fast net, with no breakages, before going on to win her class in the opening day at Cow's Week just a few days later. Campaigned by a Corinthian crew, she is as potent offshore as she is around the cans, with an impressive track record in IRC1. And with an IRC rating of 1.118, she's a good potential fit for the small boat class in the Admirals Cup. In addition to this, the attention to detail and meticulous upkeep by her two previous owners and their teams has seen Zanabu regularly optimised, which has led to an impressive and consistent performance season after season. She's been dry sailed in recent years, which means that her hull and deck are in very good condition throughout. Despite being a successful racer, below deck she's far from stripped out and with her galley, heads, good light and visibility, along with proper sleeping for eight crew, she fits into the cruiser racer category. While the JND39 is similar to the JPK 1180, Zanabu is over a thousand kilos lighter. Combined with the impressive form stability that's achieved with an innovative distribution of buoyancy, as evidenced by her aggressive hull chines, this is a design that is both light and powerful and yet only requires a crew of eight. On top of this, her large, cord, fin-only keel provides a good and responsive feel on the helm that avoids stalls during slow speed manoeuvres while also making it easier to hold lanes at critical moments. Her comprehensive sail wardrobe is a result of detailed racing campaigns by her two previous owners and includes both full racing and club wardrobes. Her rig and sail plan includes an Axon carbon mast and boom with innovative curved lower spreaders to maximise the head sail area. At present, her backstay is a single top mast configuration but could easily revert to twin backstays for a square top mainsail if required. On deck and among the many innovative details, the Genoa track systems allow full lateral adjustment, both in and out, on the wide side decks. Further aft, the mini German mainsheet system keeps the winches close to hand, making Zanabu easy to handle by a short-handed crew. In brief, Zanabu is one of the most impressive 39-footers in the scene, with a track record to match. And with both UK and EU VAT paid, she's ready to race anywhere in Europe. She's currently lying in cows, and you can find out more by contacting Ancaster Raceboats.